hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to my first official like booktube video if you guys are new welcome i am mainly a movie related channel with a little bit of board game content um books that's on tiktok here's my tiktok video if you guys want to follow me there my book journey um but i didn't want to do this full like what i read in the year over there because it's going to be obviously a longer video and tiktok you know they're just meant to be shorter ones i have been doing audible for years and years and years but this year i actually like dove into physically reading a books i started my official like book like reading journey in the summer so since about june or july uh normally every year i would read 12 books because i do have the audible so it would be like the one credit a month so that was literally every every it was just one book a month i wasn't buying books or anything but in june when i dove deep in there i started even listening to more books and i've just been loving it so we're gonna go ahead get my tablet over here we are getting cozy we're even in a different location we've got to get that cozy vibes in 2023 i read and listened to a mixture of 52 bucks so let me go ahead and uh explain my tears they don't have to make sense to you just know that they make sense to me okay we're not gonna question it okay this is just what what i liked and what felt right in my soul and hopefully everything kind of fits within something we'll see first up we have the golden ticket basically these are just my favorite reads of the year these are just like don't talk shit about them i don't want to hear nothing okay because i love them paging hollywood okay just some books that i wouldn't mind having a movie adaptation i'll recommend you these are just books that maybe i didn't love wasn't my favorite but I still enjoyed mainly I think like the holiday books are gonna be there cutesy little books everybody suspect okay these are just like for my thriller section all right I don't have too many th thrillers here I was in my smut era that's honestly what got me into reading physical books y'all smut smut got me out of my stuff then we have this shut the fuck up and blah 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 blah, blah. that if you know you know okay just know that this is where all the smutty books are gonna be at I'm a little scarred you know this is the ones that like made me have me rocking in in the corner questioning life like did i really just read you like what did i read like why and then didn't even make it to short-term memory so basically just books that i didn't even remember i read i don't remember nothing about them first up we have pleasure by eric jerome dickey it's a mfm and the mms they're twin brothers y'all okay this is just right here the shut the fuck up then we have uh red rising this is by pierce brown this is part of a series i don't know what it's called maybe just red rising series um this oh um paging hollywood unhinged by um uh, vera valentine is an erotic door romance <laughs> this one this was something a little scarred girl gets it on with the door like the doorknob and then the door becomes a human we're gonna move on we have slashed you know what i didn't really make it to my short-term memory we are all the same in the dark didn't make it into my short-term memory i recommend it but i don't remember it priest by sierra simone is also part of a series i think it's the priest series and there's three books in there um if you're super like religious like super catholic it's not gonna be for you it is super super naughty i probably should have another Thing on here you know what let me actually add another um another tier on here i'm gonna just name it not for me we're not even gonna have like a cute little situation there and i'm gonna put priest on there i thought i was gonna love it it was a little bit too much for me when i tell y'all they do it up in the altar in the pew on the uh, by she looked up at jesus while she they she was getting you know by the priest then we have wickedly trapped i did get this one on audio oh that is definitely shut the shut the fuck up okay when i tell y'all when i tell you what is it called like a reverse harem right uh it's a mfm y'all they love to share and i got my boyfriend heath mm, like i will take the other one because the other one comes with him but he, that is my main man. I am his little bunny. But then we also have Wiggly Tainted. I actually read this one. I ended up buying her whole bundle. Uh, this one wasn't really for me. I didn't really love it. Say so this affair, H.G. E. Carlton. This is a novella. I did do the audio for this one. Um, oh, that is shut the fuck up, okay? And this was the third book from H.G. E. Carlton because I, I read Hunting and Hunting Allen first. But this is a, like a standalone on one of the characters from hunting and uh, hunting and hunting Adeline, 
a city and that bitch is crazy y'all. I know a lot of people say that you don't have to read it first. I personally would say read it first because there's stuff that happens in this one. Like this one is intertwined with hunting, uh, hunting and hunting Adeline but there's stuff about her that comes out as a big reveal and I'm not gonna say it because you know it's like ooh. Uh, as a big reveal in this book and obviously when you read uh, Haunting and Hunting Adeline you know what's going on with this crazy fucking bitch. We're talking about that um Haunting uh, and Hunting Adeline is a cat and mouse to it also we're gonna shut the fuck up. This is the book that officially got us into dark romance too okay. I love uh, Hunting Adeline which is book two. You have to read them in order also you can't like skip around because book one leaves in a cliffhanger book two picks right back up where book one ended. Book two made me cry. Then we have Losers. <sighs> That wasn't really for me. It was too many M's for me. Five dinglings was too much. Then we have the stopover. And uh, this is book one of the Mouse Hike uh, uh, series. This one was not for me. This man was so irritating. Like he's so fucking rich and stuff, but he was so fucking annoying. There's so much miscommunication. I don't think I like that trope. I think that's the only book that I have that miscommunication trope. Maybe, maybe not, but it's the one that I no definitely noticed it a lot in. And I could not stand that man. The sexy time was good. I would put it up there to shut the ch 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 up. But that man, like their whole relationship, I didn't like it. But I do want to continue the series because I would love to see the other brothers, especially the one that was with him. A Kiss from a Kraken. Uh, this is a novella. Um, You know, I'm just going to say I'll recommend it. If you want a monster romance, this was a good one. Uh, Icebreaker. I haven't, I have Wildfire, but I haven't read it yet. This was the first physical book that I read. It's a hockey romance. He's a golden retriever. I would hate to say enemies to lovers, and I know a lot of people say enemies to lovers, but I'm like, I don't feel like they were enemies. I'm going to say, I'll just recommend them. So then we're moving on to Corrupt. It's the first book, I believe, in the Night devil's night series i heard book one and book two most people don't like i think they started liking it from book three on i think there's five books in the series i enjoyed it honestly i can see why people don't like it but i did have a good time with it there was times that i was just like i feel like it is a little bit too long uh but it is like a enemies to lovers like revenge type story but this one would just be under the shut the fuck up then we have along came holly this is a christmas book and I did do the audio. Uh, this is one of the free audios that um, Audible had. And oh my god, it, this is just so I loved it. This is definitely, I'll recommend it. If you want a really cute Christmas book, this one gave me the feel. This is part of the mistletoe romance. There's something about Mary. That one also I'll really recommend. That's a, um, what's it called? Single dad romance. Uh, Along Kim Holly is enemies to lovers grumpy sunshine then we have on a night like this i couldn't see it another christmas one it's another one that i would recommend that one is kind of like um the ho the holiday like the holiday where uh Cameron, uh diaz and kate winslet they trade houses so that's basically uh what happens here she breaks up and you know goes and and stays at this apartment and ends up um falling in love with uh with the neighbor no place to hide they're at a carnival and the carnival guy is basically chasing her around. Like, well, he tells her, like, if I catch you, you know, I fuck you sort of deal. Go shut the fuck up. Then we have a how to lose a guy before Christmas. Honestly, that don't even pay attention to the title because that makes no sense. I feel like maybe they titled the book to the wrong book and then just, it went off and they're like, oh, well, this is what it is. I don't know, but I'll recommend it. It's super cute. It's a second chance romance. I would love to go to this town. This town is so cute. Then we have The Son of Mr. Suleiman. Uh, There's another one by Eric Jerome Dickey. Uh, this one actually was the first Eric Jerome that we did and then we ended up doing the pleasure one. This one was not for me. It is very, very naughty. I was like, if you mention Meghan Markle one more time, I'm gonna smack you upside the head. Then we have a very bossy Christmas, another Christmas one. I almost DNF'd. I almost DNF'd. I couldn't get through the first three chapters. It was super, super cringe. My uh, co-worker, who's also who's part of the book club, she's like, no, stay with it. It gets cute. I stuck with it. I'm glad I did. I would recommend but just know the first three chapters you have to get you have to push through those first three chapters we have taste like candy this is a slasher i'm gonna go everybody suspect on here and they're at a theme park and then little do they know little uh, somebody's out there like killing them and it's like gruesome death and we have hooked 
This is part of the Ever After series. And I, I fucking love this book. This is Golden Ticket Winner. It is also under like Shut the Fuck Up because it's really, really naughty. Uh, but this is uh, based off, it's like a Peter Pan retelling. That's what uh, all these Ever After series. Uh, we also have Twisted over here, which is Aladdin retelling. That one was just not for me. Actually, I DNF that. I DNF that, but we're just gonna put it on for me. They're dark romances. Basically, it's where the villain gets a girl. So, um, hooked, you know, James um, is actually the main character. Wendy is the love. Peter Pan is Wendy's dad, and he's actually the villain. Hook, he has an accent, which makes him even hotter. It's like mafia. I loved it. Um, Twisted, that is Aladdin. Uh, I believe that was like a uh, forced marriage or something. I don't know. I didn't. I couldn't with that. Then we have the Twisted series by Anna Wong. We're gonna go ahead and go in order. Uh, this was part of book club as well. Um, if we like a series, we'll continue with it. So Twisted Love into a shut up up. This one is brother's best friend revenge story. There's a freaking twist there. Then we have Twisted Games. Oh, that is one of my favorites, y'all. Let me go over here. Golden ticket golden ticket we got my boyfriend there reese don't tell me shit about reese that is bodyguard that is a princess twisted hate is the third one this is enemies to lovers this is best friend's brother it's very very hot but it's just hate sex uh that one really wasn't for me twisted lies is the fourth one twisted lies is fake dating this one would be shut the fuck up you are not willing to fucking chop a man's hand off or grabbing my ass or stabbing it, then I don't think you're for me. I want you to be like this, but then I don't want you to be like this, but I want you to be like this. We got Fourth Wing, Rebecca Yaros. You like Hunger Games. You like uh, Harry Potter. You like Game of Thrones. You like Divergent. Then maybe Fourth Wing is for you. It's a really good like intro uh, fantasy. I fucking... This is a golden ticket winner, y'all golden ticket winner chicken dinner this book put me into a reading slump y'all i loved it i don't need a page for hollywood because hollywood already got page um they're doing a series for that one so i'm very very excited for it um iron flame which is book two this is uh part of the empyrean series there's gonna be five books i did like it but i didn't love it it took me a minute honestly i started it a long time ago and i just couldn't really get through it but i feel like once you get past that, then like all the exciting things happen. Um, I would still recommend it though. I refuse, say I refuse to accept the ending of this book. Okay, I have put up my shields and I refuse. Like I don't want to fucking talk about that fucking ending because no. We have Credence. This was my first Penelope Douglas. This one is a golden ticket winner, y'all. I know, right? Don't judge me. Don't fucking judge me. I was not upset with who she picked, by the way. Okay, I was not. Then we have Just Like Home. This wasn't for me. It was boring. I ended up having to do the audio as well, and the audio was also boring. Tinder is the flesh shop. Oh my god, it has me scarred, y'all. This is my first cannibalism book. I think it was. It's a small book. It's a cannibalism book, y'all. Okay, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, it made me throw a fucking chicken away, y'all. I explained it by variance. This is also a series. Uh, not for me. Not for me. Um, it is alien smut. It was no. Uh, the summer I turned pretty. It wasn't for me either. I DNF that. Um, I also tried to uh, see the show. I didn't like the show either. Uh, Red, white, and royal blue. Um, I I'll recommend that. I could easily put it under page in Hollywood, but there's already a movie um on Prime. This is my first MM romance. Super cute. A thousand boy kisses. <laughs> This is, oh my god, golden ticket. Golden ticket. I devoured this. I cried. I have never cried this much in a book. I shed some tears in uh, Hunting Adeline, but I wanted a book that would tear me apart in this delivered. I had never ever cried in a book so much. I loved it. Lee Child's The Killing Floor. This is the Jack Reacher series. Um... Honestly, it didn't even make it to my short-term memory. I did watch the series. The series was okay. It, it was pretty accurate to the book. It made by Frieda McFallon. This is my first, I think my only Frieda McFallon book. I've been wanting to read more. Everybody is suspect, y'all. Everybody is a suspect. Yet, somehow, I didn't suspect the person that I should have suspected for this. I, I stayed up till like about 3 in the morning reading this fucking book. I needed to know. I needed to know 
what? House of Hollow. OMG. Paging Hollywood. Also, uh, it's, uh, it's a golden ticket. But I for sure want this to be a movie. And if it becomes a movie, I feel like Guillermo del Toro would be the perfect director. Because he knows how to do like creature, weird, dark stories but make them beautiful he i feel like would be able to capture the essence of this book and just project this gorgeous scenery that we get in these pages it is beautifully dark creepy disturbing but i fucking devoured it oh my god look how beautiful this cover is y'all Ah, oh, I love it. It's like one of my favorite covers. Then we have the Serpents of the Wings of Night. This is part of a series also. This is a golden ticket winner, y'all. OMG, I loved it. It is a vampire uh, book. I would love to get back into my vampire era. Basically, Underworld, okay? All of us, one of us, one of us is dead. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Sounds terrible. Um, didn't even make it to my short-term memory, honestly. Uh, I think it was okay, but I really don't remember it. The Ruins by Scott Smith. There's part of the movie I enjoy more. There's part of the book I enjoy more. But honestly, it really wasn't for me. It was a very, very slow read. I just couldn't really get through it. Then we have The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. This one is definitely one I would recommend. Then we have Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is my, my only Colleen Hoover book. But then I got into book talk. And people seem to just despise Colleen Hoover. I don't understand why. But, you know. Uh, anywho. The Crazy Fucking Bitch. Uh, Roseman Pike. I feel like she would play her very, very, very good. But everybody suspect, y'all. Mm. There was a part that kind of scared me a little bit, y'all. Also in House of Hollow for Paging Hollywood, uh, Anna Taylor Joy. I feel like she would be like the perfect, uh, the, the perfect great. We have Neon Gods. It is a Hades and Persephone's uh, retelling. It's a little bit spicy. I didn't like it. I did not like. I don't feel like staying with the other one. Oh my God! Scream for us. It's one of my favorites, but we're gonna put this in there. Shut the fuck up, y'all. Okay, we have like three guys, one girl. Yeah, this is Mask Men. Okay, I get it why we have Ghostface, because like I would like Ghostface to chase me around a little bit, and then there's like Michael and Jason. Yeah. Dead inside. I am scarred. I am fucking scarred. That was my second cannibalism book and my first necrophilia book yeah oh my gosh ah! okay this one it lives rent free in my head it lives rent free in my head it is a night guard that works at a hospital that likes to fuck dead girls then we have the maternity doctor she eats that baby okay and then they like do stuff and then they do like she's like i want to watch you like do things with the baby There's a, the baby's head no ah we're gonna move on uh i guess christina's um a haunting in venice um this used to be called um hallow halloween or something like that uh there's a movie so we don't have to page hollywood uh honestly it wasn't all for me i didn't like the book i didn't like the movie for the fans i kind of accidentally put it on like i did it but i did um i honestly thought i was gonna be finished with the book i had three hours left and this is definitely shut the fuck up it is taboo it is stepbrothers enemies to lovers sport romance forbidden love i don't know how it ends but i do know that it is very very naughty sorry guys i actually just remembered this other book uh as i went to go grab some books to do a thumbnail uh that one night is a fucking around uh novella uh i do have a, pu a fucking around but i haven't read read because it it's so so big um that one is uh also shut the fuck up but this is all the books that i read physically and or listed to um in 2023 this is a big win for me i know it's not a lot compared to what you normally see here on youtube with like 100 200 bucks i am new to reading uh actual physical books as far as audio i used to just listen to one book 
a month and I would make that book last the whole fucking month as much best as I could. It was hard. But no, this year I definitely got into way more. Let me know down below what were some of your favorite reads of 2023. If you're following me here from the movie channel, have I enticed you to read some of these books? If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has an amazing 2024. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.